not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur. Or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. Please stand by. Marita's going to be the first bread on the moon. Now what? Well, Marita's still the best bread on Earth. And away he goes. I need a flush sound effect. <laughs> we do, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I need a flush sound right. effect. Boy. Toilet will not flush. Toilet will not flush. Toilet will not flush. Will not flush. Toilet will not flush. Toilet will not flush. Hello, my name is Patrick John Coleman. I'm a shaman in Chicago, Illinois. I just woke up. I just woke up for my journey. Um. Greetings, Mandela affected community. I'd like to dedicate this video to my father. I wouldn't be doing these videos, I don't think, if it wasn't him doing a few videos of his own. I feel like I am obligated to make these videos for whatever, for whatever it's worth, for whomever listens, because I feel obligated because I see so many Mandela Effect testimonies uh, from people who are experiencing this alone. My father and I were not experiencing this alone. We have each other experiencing this. While all other family and friends different change shifts. Not like tangible Mandela effect in a way that's this person doesn't exist anymore. My heart goes out to people who are experiencing that because I can't even comprehend, even though I'm Mandela affected. But I, uh, <laughs> the fact that it feels as if personalities more than anything from people changed, and you know, I know that's partially just life and not to be pessimistic at all. <laughs> Don't take it personal, but I'm going to say something personal. I'm about to be pessimistic, but... Omni Eris. Got you. And he turned on me. He turned on me. I know that's partially just life and not to be pessimistic at all. <laughs> Don't take it personal, but I'm gonna say something personal. I'm about to be pessimistic, but. But. Omni Eris. Got you. And. He turned on me. He turned on me. He turned on me. feels as if, um, well, it's a fact that people who you love disappoint you the most. Um, but it's also a fact that not everyone you love disappoints you, necessarily. That it's, it's just, uh, it's sense. I don't like saying common sense, because if everyone used it, it would just be called sense. Hello, my name is Patrick Coleman, and I am a shaman in Chicago, Illinois. 
and I've been working with this 14 year old boy, uh, which is probably illegal, so arrest me. Come on. My landlord's a cop. So put on something amazing and cry and grab a boy. Grab a boy. Feels as if, um, well, it's a fact that people who you love disappoint you the most. Um, it's also a fact that not everyone you love disappoints you necessarily. It's, it's just, uh, it's sense. I don't like saying common sense because if everyone used it, it would just be called sense. <laughs> The truth about Vitaly. The truth about Vitaly. He is a user and a user. Um, why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Is it safe to mention you had suicidal thoughts? Or may they have you committed as a result? Never! Ever! 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 Tell a therapist that you are having suicidal thoughts. Give me a cup of coffee. Community? No, any old coffee. Step right this way. Want some red diamond coffee with your pie? No, just give me the pie. Sure you wouldn't like a cup of red diamond to wash it down? It's, it's just... Uh, it's sense. I don't like saying common sense, because if everyone used it, it would just be called sense. <laughs> uh, it just makes sense that nothing makes sense. I'm unapologetic about my cannabis use. Cannabis affects the short-term memory. I hope that does it to divert people. I feel like I should be from the heart with these videos 111%. And that means just being myself. Um, and that's why I make these videos, because I feel privileged to have my father also experience it. And my heart goes out to those who uh, are are experiencing this alone and who have more severe Mandela effects like people missing that never existed I believe you I believe you because so much of personalities have changed. Full cycle. Oh my goodness. This is an embarrassing video. Anyways, the full cycle is that it makes sense that people change. And it's common sense or just sense that those who love you or those who, they, they, those who love you are those who know you the most. So therefore they have the most ammunition to you more. And there's, a re there's a reason that those from your blood family can literally put you in moments of craziness or rage more than any other human being alive could <laughs> or non-blood, right? If you're just the people you, who are your family, people that raise you and stuff. Um, my dad's going through a lot. I've been going through a lot. My community's been going through a lot. The campfire, honey run, bridge, gone, went there as a child. <sighs> so many friends, communities, homes, gone. Whole town of paradise, gone. I had an affection on my hands. I was with my father and my neighbor when with a mandatory evacuation happened. Up in up in Megalia, and uh, I had this weird. Both my father and I had this. Our, our intuition was telling us that our spot, our neighborhood, wasn't going to burn. And our minds did things that you know, in retrospect, we wouldn't have done just because of the just in case thing, right? 
if I look back and I'm like, that feels more true to me than ever before. Empath abilities, coming online, and the intuition, follow your hearts, follow your intuition. Your intuition is like the subconscious, it's quantum. As this present moment, it's eternal. It had no beginning, thereby known. If anything, it's the canvas for the beginnings and ends to play their course while the middle exists in between. <sighs> What's the date today? Yeah. <laughs> the first of December. Something's weird. Something weird is happening. I don't know what it is. But, uh, like I said, we've been going through a lot. My father also has an infection on his hands. We avoided the evacuation, mandatory eviction, because we knew that we were, you know, going to make it. So slow today. I didn't sleep last night. And you're a nigger. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um. The truth about Vitaly. The truth about Vitaly. He is a user and a user. Um. Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Is it safe to mention you've had suicidal thoughts? Or may they have you committed as a result? Never! Ever! Ever, 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 tell a therapist that you are having suicidal thoughts. What do we do about Vitaly? What do we do about Vitaly? Do we kill him? Hello, this is Vitaly. Hi. Okay, I gotta explain some things to you. You're only 14. You're only 14. And I know that several people are watching this video. It's like, how can a 14 year old want to die? If you want to come see me in Chicago, just get on a plane, come see me, and um, we'll talk it out. And I'll hug you. And I'll be, your, I'll be your uncle. I'll be your uncle. I'll be your uncle. It won't be creepy. It won't be weird. It won't be weird. I already have a boyfriend, so it won't be weird. But I'll just be your uncle. So put on something amazing and cry and grab a boy grab a boy and let him help through it and you're a nigger fuck you fuck you um the truth about the tally truth about the tally he is a user and a user. Um, why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Why didn't you tell me about the withdrawal? Is it safe to mention you've had suicidal thoughts or may they have you committed as a result? Never, ever, 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 ever tell a therapist that you are having suicidal thoughts. What do we do about Vitaly? What do we do about Vitaly? Do we kill him? Hello, this is Vitaly. Hi. Okay, I gotta explain some things to you. You're only 14. You're only 14. And I know that several people are watching this video. It's like, how can a 14 year old want to die? If you want to come see me in Chicago, just get on a plane, come see me, and um, we'll talk it out, and I'll hug you, and I'll be your, I'll be your uncle, I'll be your uncle, I'll be your uncle. It won't be creepy, it won't be weird, it won't be weird. I already have a boyfriend, so it won't be weird, but I'll just be your uncle. I think you should go back to fucking Africa. Just, uh, just relax, and smoke, drink, do drugs, do whatever, um, have fun. I should never have left Patrick. So, never, ever, 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 ever tell a therapist you're having suicidal thoughts, because they will find a way to get you committed.
Greetings, esoteric community. YouTube community, Mandela Effective community, and all others on the I wanted to talk about uh, what I've noticed between people I know between myself being Mandela Affected and my father being Mandela Affected. Uh, an observation I've noticed between what could be, I guess, seen as a, the difference of Mandela being Mandela Affected and how severe uh, and you can take it personally and psychologically uh, varying on generation varying on age. Uh, the most Mandela affected family member, that is to say, uh, something personal that's happened that seems like a Mandela effect, misplaced memories that my sister has had with us growing up and stuff, uh, with my father and my mother too. And um, it's, it's made it where there's virtually no relationship anymore between me or my me and my sister, unfortunately, and my father and my sister particularly. And the really, really, reason there's no relationship between uh, my sister and I really is because of the, the wedge of my father and not having these same memories that she has from the past. Uh, it feels like an attack, right? I'm sure many who are experiencing this Mandela effect truly have noticed that, maybe, uh, universally, that you, you're gonna have this sense of attack happening, as if, because you're not, not affected, it means your personal life's gonna crumble and there's gonna be certain tests put your way in forms of what makes you most vulnerable and for us, it really feels like that. Um, when it comes to the generational thing, I think I'm, I mean, it's obvious that if your daughter is not going to speak to you, that's going to take much more of a tear than me deciding to just distance myself from my sister naturally because she's distanced herself from me. That's an entirely different thing, right? Coffee break? Want a cup of Wilkins? Oh, thank you. Now all our workers drink Wilkins. That's an entirely different thing, right? Uh, one that I myself can't conceive because I'm not a parent. I can only imagine. The closest experience I've ever had to being a parent is teaching children's theater growing up, which, you know, it's very satisfactory. That sense that you uh, are helping shape the future generation for better because theater it doesn't, it's not like, oh, you let your kids go to theater because, uh, theater because you want them to become actors and stuff. No, no, no. Every child should do theater or art or painting or drawing or some kind of art. That's one of the main problems in our education system is we don't make art much more of a, a, a importance. Education is nothing unless we're not curious and want to pursue it in a creative manner. Uh, hey, there's the, the blurriness right there. Um, but I'm digressing, of course. It's fun to do. Um, <clears throat> give me one second. You getting on the Wilkins coffee bandwagon? Never. No! You either go with Wilkins or you just don't go. <laughs> that second turned into a minute of me thinking I was recording when I wasn't. So apologize, because I don't know where I was in the prior to that. But I'm not starting over. Um, my father's impact of the Mandela effect is in fact impacting, in, taking an impact that is much more severe to him psychologically than I feel from my perspective for me. Not that it's not impacting me psychologically. That is to say, more isolated, can't express it to most people. And I... <laughs> You have to be careful, like, Bible, for instance. My, I've always, like, heard stories in the Bible growing up. I haven't actually read it completely, you know. I'm not a following Christian, but I definitely come from a strong Christian background. My great-grandfather, bless his heart, was a 
Pentecostal preacher who traveled the world. Um, so I'm aware enough of the Bible to know that things have changed. And I've seen with my own two eyes in a tangible Bible that's not this screen, a video on YouTube. Own Bible, not my own, but I bought it at the dollar store with curiosity. And there's a emojicon, smiley face, in the freaking Bible. I'm telling people this. For the people who really want to hear it, they say that's impossible, and I say, good, think I'm crazy, but before you do, look it up. Don't take this like, oh, this is a new version, they update, update, I know for a fact in my, you know, Bible from my family, from my grandmother, blah, 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 sentimental Bible I've had for years and years and years, it won't be that way. Good, look it up. Have you looked it up? No, no. Well, you know, um, because I think it's that people sense, at least on an unconscious level, that you're so, or subconscious level, that you're so um, serious and you're real. You as a me in this scenario of like, call my bluff. <laughs> call it. And they won't call it. Because what would that actually mean? Holy shit. <clears throat> and when it comes to age in general, right, uh, we get more complacent naturally uh -huh. as we get older. Okay. And uh, life experience tends it's to, you. you know, weigh us down or vice versa. It can help liberate us. All things. All things, right? Um, so, I guess it's only natural that because I have a lot less life experience that I'm not going through as much of it psychologically and there's much more of a difference between the Mandela effect putting a wedge between your sister and you compared to your daughter and you for the scenario of my father. So, there's that. Um, but the, 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 the frosting of the cake my father heard about the Mandela Effect in the summer of 2016 from my sister, his daughter. And now to her, it's like, it doesn't even, memory misplaces, it doesn't matter. She had genuine curiosity and then all of a sudden she didn't. Creepy. But, and a shout out to my father. One of the main reasons I make these videos is because I've heard many other Mandela Effect testimonies. He took the first leap and uh, made a few videos and I was like, well, darn it. Especially with this campfire tragedy in my community that I grew up in, being a hit black in international news, California's most deadly wildfire. Um, that and my father making the leap to reach out in the YouTube community, I was like, fuck yeah, let's do this, and here I am. And because I have my father also experiencing this, I have someone I can trust absolutely. I have a good rela I have a great relationship with my father. And with this, uh, it gives me this sense of privilege uh, being Mandela affected in the Mandela affected community because the majority of people I've seen in videos it seems like they're going through this completely alone. And B, because therefore, because I feel privileged, I feel obligated to express my point of view and to give my perspective and, you know, genuine support and comfort for anyone who stumbles upon these videos, you know. If, <laughs> I guess it's irrelevant to say, but if you are uh, not Mandela affected and you're just watching this to criticize, why? Move on. This doesn't resonate with you. No problem. What is your life? It's what it is to you. Must have patience. And <laughs> patience and ginger ale. Ah, a product that I don't think is Mandela affected. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section.
Have a have a wonderful day. Hello, Namaste. Mandela affected community, YouTube community, esoteric community. I'll have to be honest. It feels like this uh, recording might be more of a broken record. I have a want to make a, another video. I'm just having a hard time of what video to make. Lately, if you don't know about this, I've been looking up a lot more, as I have in the past, I've come full cycle again, into the seven hermetic principles. The seven hermetic principles ended up um, being a thing <laughs> in the ancient days of Egypt, um, and became the origin, I could be entirely wrong on this, but I think there's an association with it and not with Gnosticism, and Gnosticism itself is arguably the um, prequel to the three Abrahamic religions we have these days, and have had. Um, one thing I find interesting about the Seven Hermetic Principles is that they provide a bridge between science and spirituality, and I feel like if you are Mandela affected, we are living in real timing that bridge of science and spirituality. Um, as Terence McKinnon uh, nicknamed the Timothy Leary of the 90s once said, linear time is speeding up, not because time itself is speeding up, but because as we become more interconnected as a species through the internet and such, as we communicate more to us, to each other, especially interculturally around the world, that means more events are happening in correspondence to other events. Time tends to go slower when you have event B. I mean, if you have an event A happen and then event B happen in a longer span of time, your sense of time goes further. But since we have so much more transactions, so much more interactions all throughout the globe, and because we're all connected to the same consciousness source, if you will, I like to believe within my heart that our consciousness is literally that of the planets. If the planet's evolving and we're accelerating in time, then we've reached this renaissance point, this tipping point where people like us who experience the Mandela effect, we are supposed to be the first wave of people, if you will, or if you look at Dolores Cannon's work, I like to think I'm a second wave of light workers. There's a third wave, which are the crystal children. They're coming online right now and are here now. You can feel their energy. Um, where the hell is I going with this? I have to express, too. As therapy for me, but also to help reach out to you. And there's a lot of density going on. I'd be really surprised if there was one person who is really re experiencing Mandela Effect telling me they're not going through any drama right now. They're not going through any tough times. Um, because honestly, from my point of view in my life, you, you're woken or you're not woken, you're going through shit, All right? In some ways I feel blessed that I'm where I'm at because it's nice to be conscious to more intensity. I wouldn't like to be unconscious to it because then I'd feel more vulnerable of being controlled, you know. Um, but if you are experiencing that density, <sighs> Look at the blessing that's behind it. Referencing Ralph from Infinite Waters. Great guy. Great YouTuber. Uh, YouTube channel. Every lesson is a blessing. And every blessing is a lesson. And that's part of what it is to live 4D. That's part of what it is to be re-remembering and tuning into our innate multidimensional self. To remember first and foremost that every lesson is a blessing. Every blessing is a lesson. And when it comes to not wanting to live the life that you fear living, your lower vibratory self, you have to do precisely that, not fear it. Uh, me personally, I don't feel good or bad. It's not black and white these days. It's I'm feeling intense or depressed, but at the same time, I'm feeling that way because I feel more confident, I feel more reassured, and I feel like that's part of what it is to, say, live in the 4D, when you are Mandela affected such as myself, and when you've gone through this process of not really, not really socializing as much, 
Not that I don't talk to people. I love talking to people. I can't wait to get back in college because my favorite way to procrastinate on homework is intellectual conversations at the smoking section. <laughs> but, um... But the people that... There's, uh... There's been a, a gap of distance between a lot of people that I thought were there for me. And I feel like a part of that's also part of the awakening. Um... We are experiencing the higher vibratory field, right? The Earth's frequency is rising. Um, so with that, we are at a space where every single one of us, interpersonally and internationally, um, have to deal. Chill out, dogs. Give me a minute. A minute for me. A second for you. We are at a point where everything that is a delusion. Everything that is wrong, everything that is obviously unjust, it's in front of us. Like, I remember when I was 12 in 2006, it wasn't necessarily in front of us as much. Time was starting to speed up, right? The Mandela Effect really hit the scene around 2010. <laughs> I didn't even know. I myself wasn't even affected or even heard about it till 2016, which is funny because I swear I've had um, my uncle try to explain it to me before, uh, prior to, around 2012, and I just wasn't, boom, you know, I wasn't at that level yet, um, but you're going through tough times, Mandela Effect, the people, it sounds weird, but celebrate it, celebrate it because you know that when you're able to face your fears, and when you're able to face that which you despise the most, usually within yourself, reality doesn't happen to us, it responds to us, then you're able to let it go. What's the secret to letting go? Knowing you were never really holding on to it in the first place. It's not about being anti-war, it's about being pro-peace. It's not about having a war on poverty. It's about having a larger system in play that isn't uh, compartmentalizing and uh, reducing human existence to just another number, right? Um, so yeah, I'm still waking up. Coffee's good. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Much love, y'all. Howdy, stranger. I hear you don't drink Wilkins coffee. Yeah, so what? Now, are there any other strangers in town? I have a bad case of diarrhea. 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 あたりに手を乗せ、I